different for me. I'm certainly better behind the cameras. But um, five years ago, I went to the Philippines to document the aftermath of the Typhoon Haiwan. It was one of the worst typhoons ever recorded, and I had never seen so much destruction. Uh, there was nothing. There was no electricity, no water. There was like pretty much no buildings left. And then I was walking down the streets and talking to the locals. It was my second day there. I think that was back in April 2014. And then I saw this family having lunch there. They had like a super nice table set up. It was just like there was nothing around them. And then they were like having this super joyful moment. It was such a big contrast with the surroundings. It was really beautiful to see that. They were all smiling, having drinks and singing karaoke. And then they were like, hey, my friend, you want to come and have lunch with us? And they were like, yeah, sure. And you know, they like had so little and yet they were willing to share that with me. So I sat there, I had lunch with them, and I had like way too many beers. They were like, hey, you want to sing? And I'm like, sure. And I like still embarrassed myself. And then towards the end, one of them came to me and he was like, hey, so why do you like taking pictures? I was like, hmm, you know, that's such a good question. I'm kind of a drunk now, and like, I don't really know. Yeah. <laughs> and then I told him, you know, I think I'm just curious. You know, I'm curious about people's stories, people's lives, different cultures. And when I think about my story as a photographer, I would say it kind of started in 2009 when I left my law degree and moved to South Africa and I started working for non-profits there. And then the first thing that photography gave me was really the ability to see more and better of the world around me. So I just had to pay more attention to, you know, colors, lights, textures and everything. And then I was like, fuck this, I don't want to be a lawyer, I don't want to go back to Brazil. <laughs> I just want to, you know, like just travel the world, photo photograph different cultures. But I also wanted to do something good with my work, you know, I just do I want to make pretty pictures. So that's when I kind of, okay, maybe, you know, I'm passionate about environmental issues. You know, I had been like a climber and, and I was like, okay. So I found a, a master's in human ecology in Portugal. So I went to Lisbon. I did a master's in human ecology and environmental education. And then ever since then, it was like 2013, that's when I kind of started trying to combine my both passions for environmental issues and photography. And ever since then, photography became something more... For me, it's really more... It's not about making pretty pictures. Of course, I want to make beautiful pictures, but it's more about telling stories, telling stories of, of hope and resilience, like this one's in Tacloban is about building bridges of understanding, of empathy between cultures, of... of people with different backgrounds and telling social environmental stories that need to be told and I remember once my wife and I were in, in Jaipur in India and I was kind of overwhelmed, you know, I don't know if you guys been to India but you know, it's an amazing place for a photographer but sometimes it can be overwhelming too when you walk around and then we went, found this cafe, we went inside and I saw this guy wearing a suit and all the walls were green, it was super beautiful inside this little cafe in this back alley and then he had a pile of letters on the table and he was just writing and then I was like, oh, that's interesting. So I got some pictures of him and then I went to talk to him for a little bit and then it turns out that he was just a guy writing letters to everyone he meets on a daily basis. <laughs> so I found that like so fascinating and so inspiring. <laughs> And then I gave him my address. I, unfortunately, I never got his letter. <laughs> but, but then I asked him, so, so tell me, man, why do, you, why do you do this? Why do you write letters to people you pretty much you don't know? And he was like, you know, my friend, and he just looked at me like with he had some nice glasses. And he was like, you know, I just like to tell stories. And we are all part of one big family. That's all. Nice. Thank you.